Alright guys, the structure of today's video is going to be slightly different. We went to the Goodwill bins, and we're going to show you a little bit of Goodwill bins footage, but it's not going to be as much footage as normal because we have something so specific that we found at the bins today that we're going to go into our other room with our fancier camera and take a really close look at that thing we found at the bins today. And it's going to take up most of this video, all right? So we're going to go to the bins again in a couple of days from now. So I'll come back for a normal bin fix then. But for now, I promise you, you want to stick around for this video because we're going to look at something that we found that is unlike anything we've ever found. It's kind of ridiculous and I'm super excited about it. So stick around. Hey, Hannah, guess what? What? It's time to go to the Goodwill bins. Are you ready? Woo! I usually say that half off Monday is my favorite day of the week. This is my favorite day of the week. Stick around. First bin I've spotted not one, but two Beyblade arenas. Figured I might as well check and make sure there aren't any Beyblade rolling around. I don't need more arenas. I've got more of those than I need, but it would be nice to find a bag of Beyblade. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen. There's also some Ryobi tools in here. They don't look to be in very good condition, though. Paint gun or something. Bro, I've got one of these at home. Just sitting there waiting for me. Can't believe it. I have one of these on my shelves at home. I'll probably put that in our antique wall to resell. Prepare yourself for what I just found. The trombone is such a simple instrument. No keys, no buttons. Simple, not hard to work on. Face masks are not so simple. I has trombone. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. This is not something you see at the bins every day. Just a whole bin of jewelry. It's crazy. But actually, there's two. Someone's digging in that one right now, so let's uh, investigate this one a bit. I see a lot of uh, costume pearls and uh, some Mardi Gras beads looking in it. This is a tangled mess nightmare. Hey, is that? <laughs> there you go. Hey. That's for you. This is for you. Thanks. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> Key chains? Oh no! <gasps> yes! No! Oh my gosh! And I'm finding the day. What? Oh, I'm so I excited! I found it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Tech deck board. I can't even put it all in my eyeballs. A turt. I got a turt. No, I, I am too. It's just too much. I can spend all day in here and still find stuff. Try to make sure I don't miss any more gigapets. My little pony keychain. A Skylander, really? Look at that. Those are shoes? This is my favorite kind of haul right here. Pop socket. What is it? Pop socket. For your phone. <laughs> so I cute. love 
keychains first. It's so cute. The keychain. There's a Pokemon button. That's pretty awesome. Oh, no way. No way. What is up? What is up, bro? I'm ripping a bag. Let's go. Let's go. These Pokemans are actually all right. And now I'm finding more hero clicks. And the Pokemon cards are actually all right. They're not just, I saw energies first and I was kind of like, oh, okay. I mean, I'm still gonna get them, but I've continued to dig. These are awesome. This is, gosh, I did not expect this. Honestly, I, I don't know. I guess I was just feeling negativity or what, but I didn't really expect to find much today. It was just kind of getting myself ready, but this is my favorite kind of find. But oh my God, there's another one. Woo! I saw my are sister they, head. Are they Tamagotchi branded? Gigapets, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, we gotta keep digging. There's probably more. Hey, man. Yeah, I gotta get all this out of here. It's been a very busy round. I have flitted from been to been just looking for stuff. I found a few things. Got a pair of black Wranglers. They'll sell all right. These I'm on the fence about. They are kind of cute. They're vintage Gap jeans. The pleating's really nice. I like the the lash work here. And they've got like just the slit pocket in the back. Eh, I'm thinking about them. The more important thing that we definitely came for today is finding Levi's that I can cut up. I've been cutting two pairs of different textures and washes together, sewing them back up, and uh, I need a ton of them. So there's one that's decent. My little pony lanyard from that keychain haul. Those aren't great. I probably won't keep those. They're just a little bit too, yeah, that's the wrong style patch. I need the big patch. And then a pair of Dickies overalls. I haven't tried to sell any of these. I know Dickies is popular right now. Um, these are very new. You can tell with the tag. It's like brand spanking new. They are small though, so I'm considering it. Um, i got to think about it for a minute though. Holy crap, this is a bag full of literal treasure. Listen, I mean, we showed you a couple cool things, but like at a certain point, we were running out of time, so we had to just put the camera down and scoop up the rest of what we wanted. This bag is full, just full of stuff that I can't wait to get home and talk about. There's a lot of stuff in here you're gonna wanna see, I'm serious. What did you think, guys? Are you excited to look through all this? Well, we're gonna look through the jeans and the trombones that we bought today. <laughs> you said multiple trombones, there's only one. All the trombones, we're gonna check all that out and then we're gonna go into our other room and we're gonna take a look at that bag of treasure that we just got. And I'm not, I'm gonna sound hyperbolic in saying this, but I haven't been this excited to look at something on camera in a long time. Same, it's specifically the one thing. <laughs> well, you're, you're more excited about the one thing, I'm excited about the whole package, but uh, I'm very excited to show you guys this bag of stuff right here. Look, it's heavy too, Hannah, pick that up. She can barely pick it up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so tell me real quick, let's go through this basket and you tell me what, what you got. Okay, so a lot of it is just kind of some staple stuff. There's nothing in here that I'm like over the moon about, but like, it's all okay. These, I'm trying to get as many pairs of Levi's as I can possibly get my hands on so that I can cut them up and make color block jeans out of. So we probably haven't made as big of a deal out of this as we should. I try to explain we make a lot of our money selling clothes, but like, you guys don't understand how many pairs of Levi's we need to find a day to sustain our sales. I mean, it's like we could do, we could do with like five or six pairs a day. Yeah, I mean, they would all sell. Yeah, we just can't quite get enough of them. So we shop at regular Goodwills and the bins. The bins is often the best place to get them because they're cheaper. Yeah. Though they don't show up as much there. Yeah, and it's a bummer because like $3 versus $10 what they're charging at Goodwill, it's a bit of a punch in the gut, but you know, I gotta do it. There's a pair of tiny vintage Wranglers. Super happy about that. We've got, I was on the fence about these. I did end up getting them. They're pleated. They're different. 
Um, these are a little bit in style, but to specific hipsters, let's just say that. So that's cool. I've never actually tried to sell any Dickies overalls before, but Dickies is popular right now, so. And all overalls try. usually sell, so we'll try it. I'm gonna try it. And another pair of Levi's. So that's all I got. Okay, well, I got some jewel cases. Sweet. And then I bought this. And that, that's pretty awesome because I've already got one buried back here. And I don't, this one doesn't work. I think this one does work. Unless I left it. Right. Yeah. Rip, rip Yoshi's. But that's what it's supposed to do. So we'll get some new batteries in there. And then I bought a basket and we bought basically everything else is that special bag that we're going to go talk about. But, well, the trombone. I forgot. This trombone is not in great shape, but I promise you I will make it playable. I'll make sure to show it on the channel when I get around to fixing it up and stuff. I just, I'll have to buy a mouse piece. A mouthpiece, not a mouse piece for it, and uh, it'll be good. Hold on to her there. It's such a simple instrument. I always admire the trombone because there's, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's little levers on it to release the spit and stuff, but like there's not a lot of moving parts, just one big moving part, and that's it. It's a little bent, so it's not quite right, but I know how to fix it, so I'm excited about it. Now, let's go into our other room where our other cameras are, and let's look at this bag of stuff. Quick peek, you ready? Quick peek. Okay. Let's go to the other room. Look at this giant bag of treasure. Let's take a quick peek inside of here real quick and then we'll we'll talk about it. Look at all that. There's some insanity in there. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, I mean, you probably already saw while we were digging it out of the table, a lot of this is keychain. Not all of it, but a lot of it's keychains. Let's talk about our shared interest in keychains um, over the years. It's something we bonded about early. Yeah. So you talk about how, when, and why you collected them, and then I'll do the same, and then we'll dig into this bag. So I started traveling probably in high school and just kind of went to bigger cities. Whenever I'd go to bigger cities, I wanted a keepsake from it. I settled on keychains. So not just any keychain. I wanted specifically nice, some like kind of special quirk to them, usually a movable piece or something something's distinctive about the city so. so when i met you you had a handful of keychains on your she had a car key and like 27 keychains exactly <laughs> exactly and they were all, they were they were all like quite nice they really were and i remember asking about it and you telling me that story and then we continued to travel together for several years to come and you would always buy a keychain um my story's not so cool my story probably sounds way more me um <laughs> when i was a kid and we went to yard sales with my grandmother she would buy me every keychain i ever saw no matter what it was <laughs> and i at one point had all of them put together in this giant spaghetti monster ball of keychains i had a similar spaghetti monster ball did when you really I was a kid god if we could both get them back <laughs> Because I bet yours had Tamagotchi and probably had Mine all the good did, stuff on it. And it had a lot of the Pokemon keychains. Yes, yes. So, all that being said, there's two things to talk about before we dive into this bag or show you some of this magnificence. Um, we, at our antique malls where we resell, we resell a lot of stickers, a lot of patches, a lot of buttons, small, small items such as this. And we've long since said we wish we could sell more patches if we could source them more. It's hard to find big enough lots to sustain because we'll, we could put 50 patches in our toy booth, to, in, our, in our booths tomorrow, and they would all sell. That's how crazy it is. And so similarly with keychains, I've been hoarding keychains for two or three months now, maybe longer than that. Since we've had our, I don't know how long we've had our antique mall booths now, five, four months, yeah, five somewhere months? Yeah, around there. I've been hoarding keychains in a basket in our living room, and I've been wanting to get to the point where we have enough where I could comfortably have several, several months worth of sales. I think we're there now just because of this bag we brought home. Yeah. So a lot of these, <laughs> almost all of these we're going to sell. There's a couple things in here we're definitely keeping for our collections, both because they match things we already collect, but also because we're crazy people that like to collect weird things. So I'm definitely excited to show you some of this stuff. So I guess let's just look down in here and start kind of pulling things out and we'll just talk about some of it and some of it doesn't need any talking about like, <laughs> that's pretty self-explanatory yeah well, but adorable whatever that it's a unicorn fish with a dolphin tattoo it's a it's but a it's a keychain Uni mermaid kitty yeah and i guess if any of you guys know anything about some of the nonsense we pull out of here like Toki Doki, I'm sure it's some specific brand. Somebody's gonna know something about it. There's a single Skylander. Now, I mean, as we dig through this first bin, I guess we can talk a little bit about those bins. Those bins that these were in, you saw at our Goodwill bins. If you're new to our channel, that Goodwill was obviously probably pretty special to you if you don't know about them. Um, 
This is with some sort of weird cutter I've actually never encountered before. I've got a lot of cutting utensils, specialty cutting utensils. This is not one I've come across. Um, but the the Goodwill bins, we have never seen them put out a bin like that that just has keychains, etc., etc., etc. That was nuts, you know. I I've never I've never seen them do that. And we went back. We've been back since that video. This video was shot just to check and see if they were doing it again. Because if we could come across some more of that, we would buy every single bit of it. And uh, because of our antique malls and because of our weird obsessions, what is this weird purple poof? It's just a purple ball. It's just a weird purple poof. All right. I think this one's technically like a, a bag ornament. It's not necessarily a key Oh, like just clips on the end of a purse. Yeah. It was probably on a purple purse. All right, some baseball stuff. So we are gonna have what our, our plan is in our antique mall is to have a large piece of pegboard like you see behind me here with all my awesome trading cards on it. Uh, lots of new additions there, by the way. Peep it. But we're going to have a big pegboard like this with an insane amount of keychains on it. The idea is for it to almost be more of an attraction than meant to sell. Now, don't get me wrong, I want to make some money off of it, but the money will be slow go. It'll probably be $30, $40 a month or something like that for a long time. But it will make people come into our booth because they can't believe they will. I want them to not have ever seen any key, as many keychains in their life. And we have certain things in our antique malls already where we do this. Our large uh, Thomas the Tank engine setup is a huge, beautiful display piece. People come and play with it, and hopefully they get tricked into buying something. But that's the idea with this. That The reason this is such a treasure for us is because the way that we prefer to resell, which is in our antique malls, this is... This is gonna help us out and help us go a long way. So we're opening up a new booth really, really soon, and we will hopefully have a huge display built out of this when that time comes. That uh, was cool. The camera? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all of this is cool, because some of it's so specifically vintage. LA Gear Regulator, okay. LA Gear, okay. Uh, is that John Deere? Yeah. And a broken, ugly, frosty. Oh no. Yeah, there's just, there's just so much there. So we'll take this coolest stuff. And we're just one by one, peg by peg, this will just be the most ridiculous keychain uh, display you've ever seen. And what is this <laughs> devil monstrosity? What are you? It's a ferret! <laughs> Do not show that to our cat. Alright, so I love how some of this is all bunched together. Okay, well, we need to save that one, actually. Carry the lead. We, we're going to save that one. Uh, there's a converse with a clock. That's so. I love how some of these are so oddly specific. They're so strange and oddly, this one needs a little repairs too. Mm -hmm. I'll get a little glue in there. Let me show you one of my favorite ones in the whole bag real quick. Did it, did it, did it. It's a wooden shark. That's so cool. Yeah, I mean, like what the heck? I, I, that probably came from some beach somewhere, you know, like some beach store, some store on a beach. I might, I would put that on my keychain, but I'm already carrying enough weight because I've got a lot of, I've got enough keys, but then I've also got this nice dice set. I don't think I need another dangly bit on mine, but, um, I have a gold clock here in the house. It's this exact same plastic gold. I think I'm going to do a flavor flame type thing for oh <laughs> Halloween. Very excited about that. Uh, here's a pretty cool one. I mean, again, imagine this, this one probably one of the first ones to sell in our antique mall. It's an actual, like, playable game of... There's Pac-Man. That's super cool. Yeah, it's really cool. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's probably kind of like that, per that puffy thing you were talking about. Oh, no, it's from Dollar General. Never mind. Never enough. That's exactly what it is. I thought it was another purse thing. It looked like it belonged on a purse. This isn't exactly a keychain, but it's like a working M&M &M lot, I guess. That's super cool, actually. Um, there are several, several rabbit's feet in here. Huh? Very clap. And I, this one's real. Some of them are fake. This one's real. That's a real rabbit's foot. Did you have a rabbit's foot growing up? I did not. I did. Mine was purple. Uh, what? A purple, another purple poofy ball but with a, a bedazzly bear. Some of this is ridiculous. Some of it is awesome. This turt is awesome. <laughs> Love a good turt. Now that is definitely from a Hawaii gift shop. Look at this. It just says bling bling keychain. Lol. <laughs> Uh, there's just so many of them in here that are just like bunched up together. All of them are attached. This says, oh, it's from one of those mall stores. It's like Justice. You you know Justice? It's yeah. like Claire's or something, right? It, it's yeah, it's a kid's boutique. You pulled that off of something. I did. There's that. Uh, it's fire. Fire, baby. Look at this eight ball keychain. 
the more specific, the better. I'm telling you, there's a, oh, I remember finding this My Little Pony lanyard. That's pretty nice. You gotta use that? Maybe. I don't use lanyards very much. I I have to, or I can't keep track of. I didn't see you grab that one. Oh yes, that's beautiful right there. That's that's for you. You can put that on your keychain. Uh, there were several hero clicks in here. Sometimes I'm not sure if they're hero clicks or those other similar games, but one of those types of things. Uh, I've kind of got a collection of those growing, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is awesome. That's so 90s. It hurts me. I think it's just <laughs> a general step counter, isn't it? Uh, we'll have to get some batteries for some yeah. of that. OG Fitbit. A little terrible little flashlight, I guess. Can't get it to work. Doesn't even work. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> a single sandal, Costa Rica. A little turt on it. This is awesome. <gasps> this is one of the best finds. Is for it sure. branded? I wonder. It doesn't have a branding. Uh, it just says uh, copyright LFI. Yeah, Lisa Frank. So it is branded. Cool. A vintage branded keychain per Lisa Frank purse. That's probably one of the coolest things. I think we'll have to leave that one out and set aside because we'll have to have a little vote at the end of this video on which is the best. Savings of America? Don't know, don't know what that is. I mean, some of that oddly specific stuff is obviously not going to make it our little keychain store, but does that say Hawaii? Is it yeah. like a mirror? Oh, <laughs> I guess they don't love each other anymore. They threw it away. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> Do you ever worry about that when you go to Goodwill? You like see oh, people's old old. photos yeah. and stuff. You're like, Ugh. yeah, Ugh, what happened there? Or actually, a lot of the time, I'm like, okay, who died? Yeah, probably. A little fidgy. I love how that looks on camera. That is kind of cool. Look at that. Okay. Uh, what is this? Chocoholic. A little book of quotation. It's a book. <gasps> I'm glad I read it. See, this is the weird stuff on a keychain wall. <laughs> you'll spend an hour standing there looking at it, and then you'll finally find one so weird and specific, you'll buy it. Do you under, do you, does my thinking make sense, or are you looking at oh, me like yeah. I'm crazy? No, I get it. I've dreamed of this for so long. <laughs> I will have a wall of keychains. Oh, yes. Chocoholic, a little book of quotations. Chocolate is not a matter of life and death. It's more important than that. Okay. Sure. Let's read another. Uh, man cannot live by chocolate alone, but woman can. <laughs> Okay. Uh, a mom's life mysteries is how a two pound box of chocolate can make a woman gain five pounds. That's kind of weird too. Chocolate is by far the most popular of the uh, of all the many remedies that absolutely won't cure depression. All right, I'm done. I'm happy okay. Uh, what are those? What do you call the? The like survival things. Is that what it is? So Paracord, bottle opener, rope. 30 feet rope 30 feet rope for emergency keychain stylish the bottom bullet there says oh. the bottom bullet says a stylish consider it sold okay the first of several several skateboards in here this is definitely the kind of thing I want to put on the keychain wall I think that's great I, I can't think... wait to open this toy booth and have a keychain wall what were you going to say I think some, like, somebody's going to look at that and be like, dude, I want a tiny skateboard on my keychain. Absolutely. Well, we've got the United States on the top half of this globe. Okay. Huh. Of all the random things that have made flat earthers come out of the woodwork on our channel, the strangest one by <laughs> far has to be when I bought a bag of these. Somebody was upset about it, and I was like, it's a weird world. Uh, class of 2013, a little younger than me. You're class of what? 11. 11. Now you know how old I am. There you go, do the math. Uh, tech deck, I think. Is it tech deck? It's a skateboard. You're right. You gotta There's, make that one a keychain. Yeah, though. some of them worked. There were some skateboard key. This is the best one. I there were some. Those. There were two of those. Is this like a nail cleaner or what? It's like a little tiny scissors, I think. Hello? We'll figure it out. Okay, well, you, you, you figure it out. I'll fiddle with it. <laughs> you figure that out while I. Uh, Keep digging. I'm just going nuts with this bag. There's some good stuff that like I want to get to, but we're gonna save it for later. More Hero Clicks type toys. Very interesting. Yeah, I know, right? I think it's just kind of smushed. There was another Skylander. I thought there was only one. Shark. It's a shark Skylander, so that's good. Um, a lemon eraser, I think, or a orange eraser. 
a single Pokemon button. That's cool. We sell a lot of buttons. I didn't know there were more patches in here. I guess that was actually supposed to be a keychain of sorts or something, but you could sell that on something. And this one says Girls Club. Where did yeah, that yeah, come yeah, from? I have no idea. I don't remember getting that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I give up. Can't it's get cool. it. Yeah, well, I'll figure it out later. Super Dad. Maybe the other one will help. The Lone Star State. Uh, Portugal. You know that these were all from one person, probably, right? Like. Oh, for sure. Someone look their well, public, public library card. <laughs> Let's see. Return to Scottsdale Public Library if found. Sure. Sure, okay. will, sure will. Uh another flippy floppy. Ooh. Honduras. Honduras. This person was a traveler. Another patch. Chapala. Christy. Did you find a name? Oh, it's a it's a Christy <laughs> license plate. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. So Christy was a keychain collector that traveled a lot. That's what we got so far. Okay. And she somehow participated in Women's Week of 88 and also graduated in 2013. That math does not add up. Well, Christy it's, has a daughter that graduated in 2013. Okay, that maybe closer. That's awesome. <gasps> uh, whatever that was is missing its head. I'm pretty sure it was an elephant of some sort. <laughs> I was so sad about that one. Yeah, a baseball and a bat. I feel like I had this keychain. Look! It works. Well. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, there's just some other nonsense in here, too. Like, what is this? It says... I don't even know what it says. That but is this... a bag hook. What is that? What is so a bag hook? You take this thing, and I think that's a magnet, and you can stick that to the top of the, the table, and then you can hook your bag onto it. So if you're at a restaurant or something, you can just like put it on there so you don't have to sit on the floor. I mean, that that makes sense because that definitely functions as a hook. I see that. But where are you going to be that that magnet's going to well, Maybe hold? it's not a magnet. Maybe it's just a little rubber grippy. I don't know. No? Yeah, you're right. It's a rubber grippy. Those are definitely... It took me magnet. a long time to figure that out, but, but that's what it is. Well, you're a smarter <laughs> person than I. Uh, more hero clicks type stuff. Just keep flying through some of this. This is this is one of my favorites, actually. I, I don't understand it, but it's just one of those gravity. It's kind of hard to do with this angle. Maybe we should switch to this one real quick. But it's it's just an odd. I'm not even showing you the right side. No, it doesn't even have like balls that bounce around. It's just it's just for the lols, I guess. If you're into ponies and unicorns, like it. Interesting. Um, a C. For Christy. For Christy. A bracelet and a... A lot of these are bag accessories, aren't they? Yeah. This person had a lot of purses, and they like to accessorize. What the heck is that? <laughs> it's a bunny, I think. I feel its face, but I can't find it. <laughs> He's got beady little eyes right here that are all covered up. Oh, is that a rabbit? It's a little bunny. It wasn't wouldn't, it wouldn't bad enough that you chopped its feet off. You stole its children. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, here's like a homemade keychain. Uh, it's just, it's literally, I'll tell you what this is, is a Coca-Cola bottle cap with hot glue poured into a puddle on the inside and a paper clip stuck in there. And I feel then, like there were better ways to do that. Yeah, I definitely could have thought of a couple myself. Uh, Las Vegas. And that's like liquid inside the, it's ugly. Um. <laughs> tell us how you really feel. Look at all these little pom-poms. These were, they were, they were purse accessories. Yeah. Lol. Is that so censored? <laughs> censored? I they were picking their nose. <laughs> I didn't know what they were doing at first. Uh, there's, here's a bag of stuff. Panthers on the prowl. Our cat's going to try to eat every one of these fluffy ones. For okay. Sure. Here's a bunch of nonsense. Philadelphia. Uh, Stratsburg. The back of a watch. A wooden moose that has <laughs> Nordcap 2017 etched into it. Some of this is so random. Okay, there's a little sports walkman. I don't know why we bought it, but it was in that bin, so we had to take it. Uh, another weird... Oh, yes! That is going straight, and I mean straight to our SpongeBob wall. That is great right there. Bet you you won't rock it. 
Oh, well, it's not going to come anywhere near fitting my wrist, but I would. <laughs> you needed to be that much I would bigger. not be scared to. San Diego. And then uh, Old Navy. There's some weird... There's a pair of earplugs. Gross. Okay. Ew. Ew. Throw that away. Uh, and then here's another one of those little zippy up bags. This person must have liked these. Uh, this one says... Ecuador. Yeah. That's crazy. It's beautiful. I mean, you know how difficult this would be to sew together? Very. And then turn back right side out? It'd be annoying. Very to difficult. Sew. Uh, Nikon lanyard. God bless something. A button. The best odds in bingo. Okay. This person was a bingo player. Very cool. And they liked hero clicks. Weird. Jose. That's her husband's name? Gamer Boss. Woo! I found that one. I just threw it in the bag. I was like, he'll find it. I never even saw that. That's cool. I, I forgot that you helped me dig a lot of these out. There's going to be surprises. Um, ooh, a portable straw. A reusable. Oh, that's kind of cool. What? That's actually really nice. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's very useful. If it's not used, I'll definitely use it myself. Uh, a Tweety Bird keychain. That's kind of cool. That's the exact kind of stuff that would be great on our wall. For sure. Uh, golf stuff. Oh, my gosh. Jose must have been a golf. <laughs> I forgot. I, I dug this. You didn't see this, did you? I dug this one out, but I'm not gonna lie. I forgot about it. That's probably the best one. If I there had somehow been all four there, mm. Mm. let's <laughs> let's set that one aside. I think that's another contender for best, don't you? Yeah. Do you agree? Make sure you tell me if you see anything that's a contender for best. Okay. Make sure you hold it out. Like, do you like Pink Kitty? I like regular Kitty, who is actively Chewy. chilling next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just more Las Vegas and other random stuff. Get some handfuls more pom poms. So many pom poms. So so many. A <laughs> couple buttons. Good. A thimble, but not a keychain, and a catcher's mitt. Another button. Eighty-seven. Class of eighty-seven rules, and another one of those switchblade keychains. Maybe you can get this one open. Yeah, it's actually a little pair of Caesars, I think. No, it's just a. It's a clippy. For what? What do you? Don't ask me questions. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I figured it out. That's it. That's what it is. Uh, and then, not used. So this was not thrown out in hate. But it's got a dog. Is that a dog print? Dog paw? Okay. Bottle opener. Wooden keychain that says something. Another, another step counter, but without a display on it this time. Weird. I don't know. What do you? What do you do? There's so much random. You know, I really want to dig out that Hawaii one with the photo in it to see if that was Christy and Jose. It might have been. It just might have been. I forgot how many hero clicks were in here. Okay, here we go. Here's some weird stuff. Here's one of those photos you get when you get off of a ride. Uh, this one was from Vegas Stratosphere. We stayed in that hotel once. We did. Uh, we did not ride the Stratosphere, though. Stratosphere 2002. Some strangers' photos. And then, oh my god. And also, I didn't really understand this <laughs> political one. It's dated January 25th, 2012. Oh, that does, okay. Yeah, I don't know, just weird stuff. Las Vegas, 50, a mermaid. This person liked mermaids and such. But so, some of it's just so rare. And then like a rape whistle, I guess. <laughs> Why are you trying to be funny, Ham? <laughs> uh, it's just cute. a whistle. Cucumbers, this is going to get weird, so plug your children's ears. <laughs> you haven't read this, have you? No. Oh my gosh. Cucumbers are better than men because... Oh no. Don't finish. I should probably read. I'm not even going to finish reading Don't it. finish that sentence. <laughs> it got weird. I just read the next two lines. Uh, don't read it, Anna. I'm <laughs> done. Is that a little bunny? This is evil. Incarnate. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to sleep tonight. That's going to come eat our throats. This bag is weird. Okay. Uh, thank God I'm female. All right. Cucumbers are better Same. than men. Uh, Toronto. And this is probably one of the, that fluffy probably went on there. So, I don't know. I'm trying to be imaginative here. And then this is some sort of like talking stick. No, I don't know. This is... It, it's it, a totem. It, yeah. No, it looks, it looks perhaps native. You know, something from a native market or something. I don't know. It's been very specific with the leather sewing and the... I don't know. Somebody maybe watching could comment below. Let us know what it is. Uh, it's very well made. Sevilla. 
yeah, it was very pretty. I just don't understand some of it. Some of this, though, is so good. This little... Is that a nail clipper? Ooh. Guitar air clip... Nail Ooh. clipper. Got into it. It could be sanitized. Six but, uh, times. Italy. Cute but tough. That's 90s. Or early 2000s AF. And then here's... Look at this lock with 37... A couple of locks with like 37 keys on it. Caution. Magnetic. Okay. Hey, <laughs> but for what purpose do you serve? Yeah. Some old school notebook locks. Super effective. Um, some Mardi Gras beads. Something. There was a lot of Mardi Gras beads in the thing. Which in training. <laughs> We're probably completely wrong. This probably did not all um, belong to one person. But for the sake of our imaginations today, we're going to act like it did. Uh, proud to be Falcon Booster. Okay. You going to put that on? Oh, this is a good one. I know some of you fools watching like this. A little, little something extra, extra on the keychain. That ain't, that ain't even getting your beak wet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not. Okay. It's not doing nothing. I kind of like Kentucky that. boy. I wish that were yellow. I'd rock it. That ain't getting your beak wet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you. Journey 2018. Is that like the the band Journey? Did you get this at a Journey concert, or is this like in memoriam of the Journey? You would I don't know. Or like Journey. Is that like a Jesus thing? Isn't that right. a big concert thing? What size wedding ring? Is I can that... tell you already. Oh, Katie, really? What size is it? It should be seven and a half. We'll okay. see. Well, someone will want to marry you one day. Okay. I, was, I didn't even realize you weren't on camera. What size? Is that right? Or was that two? I have no idea. Read the numbers. Well, I'm trying to find the one that fits. That one's close. Might be the next step down. E too small? Is that right or too small? That one would be about right. My are hands you serious? Are, I'm hot right now, so my hands are swollen. What size is Why it? Why are you hot? Because it's hot in All this talk about cucumbers. <laughs> it's when you said it. Yeah, it ain't getting your beak wet. <laughs> That's what got you? <laughs> I'm so done. What size is this? I don't know. It's seven. It's seven? Okay. I feel like if you want to ask her, hey, look at my eyes. <laughs> If you want to ask Hannah for a hand in marriage, you should go to seven and a half because those fingers are a bit hey. bigger around. I thought. Didn't you say seven and a half to begin with? Yeah, but now you're calling my fingers fat. <laughs> oh, my life hurts. What is this? Somebody will know. I can't see nothing now because my eyes are so watery. I'm crying. Uh, look to your library. I kind of like that one. I have some weird library memorabilia around the house because my name's Dallas and that's just who I am as a person. I can't stop crying. <laughs> I'm making you laugh too much. Yes. Uh, I think this is supposed to be a... Oh, it's one of those laser... Pro like it projects shapes on the wall. I, I had one of those when I was a kid. I wish it worked. That'd be fun to play with cats with. World's mm -hmm. smallest Pokeball. You're is like, it a keychain? No. It could be, though, I guess. I, uh, something I failed to say when we gave our whole keychain spiel. Here's you a... Beautiful leash for pants. I got that for Mochi. Okay. Um, when we said all that about, ooh, little axe. I like this. For what? We ain't axe murdering with it. <laughs> um, Ten years later, I'll kill you one day. <laughs> I forgot to say with all this talk about keychains, the other cool aspect of doing this and the way that we'll be able to maintain our supply is that A, we hope that we'll eventually be able to find more hauls like this, but B, we'll be able to make a bunch. We will be making a bunch of keychains out of stuff. Uh, you guys that have been watching us for a long, long time, you know how we like to make stuff, right? We, we make a lot of buttons, we make... Believe me when I say keychains are something we could make and get really creative with. Here's a tech deck. Do you remember tech deck? I didn't do much with skateboards. I bought a tiny skateboard for my brother for Christmas one year, and that's about as far as we went. That's cool. Me and my little brother were super into that stuff together. Um, good memories. I don't know what this is, but I feel like, oh, it's like a, it was like a key release. It, it's missing uh, the bottom, but you could pull your key. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. She sells by the seashore. For Sally. Aloha. I wish Patrick were here. He'd love that. That's his favorite thing. I might have to set that aside for him. Uh, is that from Nashville? Nope, Hawaii. It's a spinning guitar. It's probably some manner of loot. Ukulele. <laughs> what? Oh, I forgot about that too. 
Comment below if you know what that is. Okay. Hannah, Hannah's very excited. We're, you think we should... I mean, most of you are going to know. It's the Deathly Hallows. Well, yeah, but that's definitely going into the best things. Oh, yeah, yeah, Along yeah, with yeah, the yeah, other yeah, one. Yeah, 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 The cat sushi! Hannah said, Hannah said these words out loud. I was not paying attention to her while we were, do, were digging through this bin. She yelled, cat sushi. And, of course, if you just hear a random female shout, cat sushi, where does your brain go? And then she comes walking up to me with this. The splendor. This is the kind of weird stuff we need on that keychain wall, though, you know? I love that so much. That's going aside for the best as well. I think we'll have a vote at the end of this video, and I'll announce, I'll announce or something on the next day's video what won. H is for Hannah Bob. E. This video's going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm almost sniffing her new leash. She's she, she's not gonna like it. There's a bumblebee. I like that bumblebee. All right, we're getting down to the the bare necessities here. Look at these guys. <clears throat> Hero clicks. I guess, but like you know, they're not like specific Transformers. Black Knight. It's almost like they're. I mean, I know these aren't Warhammer, but it's almost like it's some other Hero clicks like game. If, I don't know. You want to Google one of those real quick? Google what it says on it. Just unlock my phone and do it. Maybe we'll find out. All right, here's a nail file. Well, that's that's the good stuff. There's another another hero click type thing. There's two things of good stuff, and I'm trying to pick around them. Some weird stuff though. Um, <laughs> useful, very useful. Oh yes, actually yes. Oh. Should I should comment below? Should I just make my keychain a thing of yellow things? That sounds very Dallas. Is that it? Just a thing of yellow things? Sounds like something I would do. Uh, not a keychain. That's awesome. That might be set aside for uh, the best things. There's a cow. Coco Pele. So, since we've already gotten really weird on this episode, I'll just tell you what he is. If you Google Coco Pele, you'll read a lot of weird stuff about who the legend of Coco Pele. But it's a Native American tale about a guy that would come show up randomly into random villages or you know, homestays of the native people, and uh, he's like a magician and a healer, and he'd come in and help people, and then he'd leave the next morning, and all the field crops would be six foot taller, and all the women would be pregnant, because he is like the god of fertility. Hello? Hello? I'm, that's, you know, a Google dive will tell you that. Who knows if it's real, maybe if we have any native people watching that would like to expound on that, or correct me. I mean no uh, offense by it. I, I was a flute player, all through school, so, uh, you know, an Indian symbol playing the flute was something I was drawn to because of that. So that's why I have read that at one time or another. This says... That, that's going to be a bad day for the hospital in nine months. Did you find out what that is? It's a hero click. It is a hero click. Yes. Did you... But what? Is it guns? It's Transformers. It is Transformers. Yes. Well, none of them... Does do any of them have... I've looked real close at it and I squinted. I mean, I can't see nothing because of the tears, but I tried to find, like, the Decepticons or the... Are you sure? He doesn't look that transformer -y. Got a whole line well, of I, I, No doubt there are Transformer hero clicks, but none of these have Decepticon or Autobot symbols on them. Hmm. At all. I mean, that guy is kind of a tractor, so that kind of fits. Well, he's also missing half of himself, I guess. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Uh, to thine own self be true. Triple X Unity Service Recover. Oh, this is a, a AA chip, I think, isn't it? God grant me this ready to accept the things. Yeah, that's what that is. Rip it with that Goodwill. <laughs> We're not going to joke about that. Uh, a little Pikachu. Not a keychain, but can be. Will be. Will be. My favorite one. My favorite shoe in here. I like that a lot. Well, football cleat. Um, well, that's weird. Okay, so it's a doggo. Like a super doggo with a cape. Aww. And then a little lizard. Did you ever make one of those? I'm sure I had to at one point. I specifically remember we made them in Girl Scouts, and I was sick the day that everybody made them. And I didn't get one, cause, and I didn't get to make one, but someone made one for me, it was really sweet. It says angel, and it's a key, and they want you to put a photo here. So what's what's the symbolism of that supposed to be? You put your face in the keyhole, and it says angel on the black. There's nothing to figure out there. It's just a lot of things crammed <laughs> together. A little fish. 
A dolphin fish. A dolphin fish. Which is actually a thing, and that's not a dolphin. A whole bunch of Miller Lite. Uh, <laughs> what a, the industry that I worked in as a cameraman in a lot was experiential marketing, and we referred to this kind of product as premiums. The more you know. The stuff that you hand out. I think it's been a few years since I've worked in that industry. I've been a YouTuber for a while now. What does that even say? Fearless? My I face is getting it. itchy, but I don't want to scratch it because I got all the grime of 600 years of keychains on it. Get your kicks. Root 66. Uh, clubs. Clubs. Cubs. Uh, law. Does that say law tigers? Law tigers. I want to get a law degree and call my law firm the Law Tigers. <laughs> Let's do it. There are a few coins in here. Oh, it's a Bitcoin. This is like Google. Oh. <laughs> Let's do this real quick. Listen. What is the value of a single Bitcoin? I found this on the web. Well, it's not going to make it easy, is it? Uh, I don't know. You know, it jumps around. It's been 4000 10000 Let's just Google Bitcoin. Uh, it's ten thousand dollars a piece, so there's a ten thousand dollar coin. That's not at all how it works, but it would be fun if it was. I should try to go around convincing people that it works that way. I'll sell you this bitcoin for a grand. Okay. It's for ten grand, it's a bargain. It's a big bargain. Smoky Mountains Railroad. We're getting to the nitty gritty down here in the bottom of the bag. Uh, there's just more coins in here. I don't even know what some of them are. Okay, it has sack. Listen, it has Sacagawea on it, but that does not mean it's a Sacagawea dollar. Okay, so don't get, don't get feisty in the comments. This is not a dollar coin. This is just a. What does it even say on it? The. I can't even read it. <laughs> Pants, do you want up here to look at the keychains? Our cat's down on the floor meowing. Uh, yep. There's that. All right, so let's get into a little bit of the good bit so we can talk about this. Uh, let's go through everything on this keychain. Pants. Come here, bud. Stop your meowing. He doesn't know what we're doing over he here. He doesn't understand why we're huddled in this corner talking to this camera loudly. Uh, wilderness Safari piece. Uh, this is a lock. Butterfly clock. Lock butterfly clock. That's, and then a fingernail file. Some a Canadian penny. That's awesome. That's one of my favorite ones. That's almost uh, it's almost competition worthy. Let's put that aside for the competition because uh, we're gonna vote on all these when we're done. So the big thing here, though, of course, we have talked about Tamagotchi. We've talked about Giga Pets just an endless amount. And you said your sister had this one. Yes. Well, I know your sister's not watching, so I can't tell her to comment below. But I would like to know. Maybe if your mother's watching, she could tell us what her memories of these Giga Pets are. Because uh, you and I both have had long, long discussions about them as kids. We were obsessed with them. I had the Pokemon branded ones. It was shaped like a little Game Boy Color, right? That's cool. Um, but you had a lot of this. You guys had a lot of this stuff, right? My brother had the green one that looked like that, and I think it was a frog. Okay. And then I had the one that's shaped like the one coming up. Okay, like the next one, because we have another one in the bag. We scoured the bins all of this was in endlessly, making sure there weren't more, because this is 1,000% something we would love to collect more of. So, Make a whole video about keeping one alive for a week and how many times to kill it. I would kill it, yeah. <laughs> as soon as I go to bed, it'll probably die. Okay, let's keep... There's a stitch head bag purse. I bet there's some that are going to say that that's probably best, so maybe we'll set that aside, too. Yeah, that's um, pretty sweet. Tiger lol. Lol, not really. <laughs> oh, no! I didn't know there were two. Did you find one? I think I did. You must have. Okay, so we'll set those aside together. This is an okay one, but I, though I don't think it's going to quite make the, the vote. I mean, it's cool that we found one that's that collectible. So let me let me invoke a little bit of a story here with this one. This is actually one of my favorites in here, this wrench, uh, for a, a very sentimental reason. From the time that I was, well, the time that I can remember, my father has always had a little wrench on his keychain. A little bit bigger than this one. I should probably show this on this camera and look a little better. Come on now. See this tiny little wrench? It's a little craftsman. It's a proper little craftsman wrench. Right? And it's a 316th. 
from the time that I was uh, the time that I can remember, my father always had a ripped on his keychain, just like mine there. And I always asked him why and stuff. He just always said, I don't know. It's just it's been on there for as long as I can remember. I guess ever since he's been driving, he's had the same wrench. And now his, he's had it on there so long, the metal on the inside of the loop has worn down. It's very thin. I wouldn't be surprised if he drops it one day and it breaks, because that's how long he's had it. So when I was 16, to be like my dad, when I started driving, I put a keychain on my wrench. But it was a couple of years before I ever showed him and we talked about it. And I, I just, I always thought of it as such a small wrench because it's such a, it was such a tiny little wrench. But I put it up next to his one day and it's just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that was always funny, but I've, of course, always kept it that way. And one of these days when we have a little cheering and they get a car, I'll have to put a, a wrench on there on their uh <laughs> wake key up ring. Like, why do i have a wrench on my key ring and so when, one day you'll get it yeah one day you'll get it just go ask grandpa um but yeah that's kind of, it's not, obviously not the same thing but it's cool i like it i like that a lot it's more practical to have one of those <laughs> well this one might yeah this might fix some little toy part mine's not gonna do much but that's cool that's one of my favorites oh my goodness let's just run through some of the rest of this there's a bottle shaped bottle opener cool bud light beer a proper key flashlight something ice cream related no just teddy bears i don't know um, st louis there's one for you hannah look, hey. look how little that is it's a teeny tiny one um there's several thimbles in here I don't collectible know. thimble is that what it is yeah a nicky snake to go with your <laughs> lizard what is oh, okay a retractable like badge thing Proud to be Falcon Booster. Oh, I love these. I think I... Is this a Bible? No. It's a mini thesaurus. I found that one. Okay. I thought you'd appreciate it. It is. I like this a lot. I love weird little keychain. I had a lot of stuff like this when I was a kid. That's the kind of thing I'd buy at a yard sale. Okay. Wow! Right? I found yeah. that too. Yeah, we'll probably actually put that in our toy booth. That's cool. Little backpack. We'll guess backpack. We'll guess backpack. All right. We're getting really close to... Let me just go through this last miscellaneous. Here's a little wrench. Ludwig. Ludwig. It's a proper little wrench. But I, I don't think... Oh, okay. I was going to say... So, oh, this this is... This is too... Oh, it's a drum key. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> it took me a second there. I got it, though. It's a drum key, I believe. Weird. More hero clicks, coin pouch, more coins. Oh yeah! Before we jump to this last keychain full of nonsense, there's a bunch more coins and pins. Uh, that one says that was not that special. It's not a bitcoin like the other. Uh, rabbit's foot, another real one. Blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Can't we can't let that one go? And then a Snoopy. And somebody's children. <laughs> Weird. Another skateboard. Um, all right, let's go ahead and set this bag aside. I'm just—I don't want to miss anything. There's two more things that were in this bag. One of them I want to look at is here, and then we'll go on to the last set of keychains. There were Pokemon cards. Woo! Nothing great, but you know, pretty great to spend nothing on them. I mean, like, that's literally. So here behind us, that's our Pokemon collection divided into sets. And I can tell you, just because we spent so much time in there, I know there's several cards here we don't have. So there's several cards there that'll get stuck up in those boxes. Uh, that's pretty cool. Very. I'm always happy to bring home Pokemon cards from the thrift. Now, the other thing in this bag, I think these are like arcade tokens or something, but I figured we'd find out together. Garden State Parkway. Okay, so there, perhaps there's some sort of uh, old school... What are they called? On the highway? The toll road. Oh, the toll road toll tokens road. of some sort, I was kind of thinking maybe like a car wash? I don't know. Don't car washes have tokens? Car, well, this says car fare only. So, yeah, this was some sort of... I, I This might have been something in a different area or before my time, but I never recall paying for tolls with anything other than uh, cash money. Yeah. But... That doesn't mean that didn't exist at one point. You know, you go through and pay the first toll and get a token and don't have to pay the second. I don't know, you know. Uh, but cool. New York City Transit Authority. So that was a subway token. Good for 
one fair. There's several cool. of those. That's really cool. I didn't I didn't look at any of this. I opened it up and I saw that it was some sort of coinage. And I was like, I'm definitely gonna buy that Sports World amusement park. So these are like ride tokens and stuff. This is really cool that someone kept all this specifically. I, I find that to be. I wonder uh, if this is something someone collected. Uh, New York City Transit Authority. Really? I wonder next time we go to the city, <laughs> I'm going to take some of these and try to get on with them. Uh, that's awesome. That's kind of one of my favorite finds. Just the oddness of that. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I find that very cool. Okay, the last bit of this haul. Let's just go through it all. Doggo. Pumpkin boy. Punky. Some ice kids. Pooh bear flashlight. Don't know how to activate. Oh, that's how it's <laughs> supposed to activate, but it doesn't work. Pooh bear. Cynthia liked Pooh bear. Was her name Cynthia? Yes. I love it. I love the skateboards. There's a couple of them on here. Christy. It was Christy. What did I say? Cynthia. Cynthia? Close enough. Uh, Arafo Basic. All right. Lil Grip. What does that even say on it? Spectrum Designs. All right. Bean Sprouts. That dog has a dog on it that says Bean Sprouts. Phoenix Suns. A tennis shoe. Okay. Very nice. And then the last thing. Boom! Find of the day. 100%. You know what, though? I was let's, I wanted to make sure these... Because these, I'll be honest with you, that kind of looks generic to me. And I don't know. Maybe the, the name there is rubbed off. I think this one's a Gigapet. You think so? Well, I think... Is Tamagotchi not the same as Gigapet? Are they different? I, it's been too long since the 90s. But at any rate, even if this were some cheap fake knockoff, it is definitely from the 90s, and it's definitely the kind of thing we would love to have a shelf full of. We have such nostalgia for this. This is the one, the style that I had. Okay, well, yeah, the, the egg shapiness. Wasn't there a... Yes! So, I had what these are imitating. Okay. Tamagotchi. Those are, those are the real Tamagotchis. I guess there was yeah. supposed to be a little toy in there. I don't know. But this was a McDonald's toy, yeah? Yeah. I had a bunch of those on that keychain we were talking about at the beginning of the video where I, you know, put them together and stuff. I had like 10 of those because they made so many of them. There yeah. was a couple different generations. Matter of fact, I think this is a later one. The only Tamagotchi-like thing that I've found at the bin so far is a McDonald's, one of those, and it would like the picture spun and that was pretty much okay, it. Okay, yeah, I remember those. Um, yeah, so that is, where is the other one? That We couldn't believe that we finally found some. Honestly, I would have been just as excited if you, as you've seen me be in this video if it were just one of these, because I want these so bad. Um, just for our, you know, you guys have watched our videos. We collect some weird McDonald's toys and stuff. And, and like my Furby stuff, this is something I want to put on that shelf bad. So very happy for all of those. We'll be basically keeping these. And I think a couple of the weirder things here we're gonna keep and have a little collection on maybe my pegboard right here. Um, but I don't know. I'm not going to keep too much of this. Most of it's going to go on our ridiculous roadside attraction type keychain wall. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Before we get out of here, let's vote. What's your favorite thing you've seen on this video today? Pants? <laughs> He's Meow's boxing. Who is not happy to be here. Uh, the Ninja Turtles. So let's, like, let's lay this out. I want you guys to vote, and I'll either like announce it on social media, so you guys go follow me on Instagram or something, uh, or I'll announce it on the next day's video, something. But we're going to vote between all of this. Ninja Turtles, Stitch Change Purse, you can get a whole quarter in there. Lego, <laughs> Keychain, one of my favorites, Yeah Boys Croc. I want a pair of yellow Crocs so bad. <laughs> I'm not joking, but I, can't, I haven't found a pair yet. Uh, this is probably going to get a lot of votes. Lisa Frank. Cat Sushi, because why not? Uh, Canadian Penny, not gonna not reflect. The Deathly Hallows, I think that's the main options. And then the last options is going to be the Tamagotchi. So you have, I think the purple one's Giga Pet, and then the orange one is Nano Pet. Okay. I think that's what it was called. Digital, probably. Well, this has Giga Pet brand on it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I, I don't know what that was supposed to say. We'll, we'll definitely, as we amass more of these, we'll have to... Uh, you guys can't see the cat because he's off camera, but he's looking at me like a snack. He is mad. He's, <laughs> he does not want to be here. Um, you guys vote below. I want you guys to comment. Just comment whatever you're going to comment, but at the top of your comment, just comment one of these things. Turtles, Stitch, Lego, Croc, 
Grok. <laughs> Lisa Frank. Sushi. Deathly Hallows. Canadian Penny. Tamagotchis. I want to know. I, I really want to know. Like, I want to see what our crowd is into. I want to know what you, what you like the most. I'll tell you what, though. Seriously, and I'm not really like kidding or exaggerating when I say say this. This is my favorite kind of video to make. Because I always love it when Pants is mad. He's so uh, mad. But no, seriously, whenever we bring home a lot of something and get to explore it, it there's something kind of... What do I want to say here? His, not History Channel, but like... The shows where they go, like the American Picker dudes, or the people that buy up the storage lockers, those types of shows. You've got glitter on your face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, it's not from Pants. <laughs> it's from something in this weird bag of devilry. Um, those kinds of shows where they get, they come home with just piles of something and then look through it. I don't know. It just, there's something so soothing to me about all of this stuff. I, I, especially to find it all at once. Now, if I had amassed this stuff over the years, like Cynthia, is that her name? Crystal. Chrys Chrysanthemum <laughs> did. I, it would probably be a little different for me, but like just finding this this way, preserved all together, was very exciting for me. And I enjoyed more than a lot of videos we made recently just digging through it. Um, I'm going to enjoy even more when we put it on a piece of yellow pegboard, just like this one. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Don't you? I do. Or, are you, or am I just a crazy person living in a fantasy world and the rest of you think I'm nuts? You're also that. That's probably true. <laughs> well, guys, I do want you to comment below what's your favorite one, what's your favorite thing we brought home today. Uh, and also, before we go, do us a couple favors. Check out our merch store, tindostrash.com. We've been selling a lot of uh, uh, our Trash Life shirts, and uh, I appreciate you guys... Uh, I appreciate you guys understanding what that is and being a part of it and continuing to post on social media your hashtag trash life finds uh just keep doing that we're going to keep giving some shirts away we did a giveaway after the la time before last we showed some on screen we messaged the winner and uh since by out a free t-shirt i think it's the, over the second time we've ever done a good giveaway we're not very good at them because it's kind of it's kind of difficult to do uh, but we're going to definitely find more ways to utilize our hashtag trash life. Hashtag. So hard to say. Hashtag trash life. Hashtag. And give away some more shirts in the near future and stuff. We more so want to do it live. We haven't gotten back to doing live stuff on this channel. If you're relatively new to our channel, before we all got locked down for coronavirus, we did a live video one, at least, every week for as long as we had this channel almost. It was a big part of our channel and we missed doing it. But when we get back to that, we're definitely going to go... Uh, and, and it's coming soon. We're working on it. We're just waiting for things to go back to a little bit more close to normal. Um, and when we can do that, we'll definitely be going live and during our live streams, looking at your social media posts and picking stuff and doing some giveaways and cool stuff like that. So if you buy anything at the store, matter of fact, even more specifically, if you buy any, if, if you buy anything that you ever see that's related with this channel, or if you find it in the dumpster, or if you get it to thrift, a yard sale, whatever, and if you're going to post a picture of it on social media, just make sure you add the hashtag Trash Life. Uh, and we will get you kind of involved in what we do here. Uh, and equally, even more importantly for this week uh, or today, if, if any of you have anything like all this nonsense, if any of you have a keychain collection or a keychain that you just love on your keychain or Tamagotchis, feel free to post that on social media today with the hashtag Trash Life. Or if you want some extra credit, go over to our public Discord where you can come and chat with us and other members of this community. Join that today and show me some pictures of your keychain collections or anything, maybe not even your keychain collections, if you've got anything weird that you collect like this. Because <laughs> this is a weird one. This is an out there one, right? I don't mean weird as in a shame on you, but just oddly specific is what yes. I mean. I would love to have some cool conversations today about that kind of thing. So, Tendo's Trash, Discord, link below. And then also before we go, just know we do post daily videos here on this channel. And we would uh, super appreciate it if you would come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. And uh, also maybe check out our second channel, Rubber Duck Yellow. There's a link for that below. But at any rate, come back here tomorrow for sure. And until then, guys, peace out.